Building your own Weldman profiles is the foundation of any new or even established SOLIDWORKS user that is wanting to build accurate models. SOLIDWORKS comes stock with a handful of standard profiles, and even more can be downloaded easily enough through the design library on the right under SOLIDWORKS content. To download, control and click on the additional library you want and download to any chosen location. To have SOLIDWORKS reference these new profiles, find out where your current file reference points to for Weldman profiles and cut and paste the files you downloaded to this location. Now when you go to create a structural member, the new library you added will be included in your dropdown. Moving away from standards and into customized has its own set of steps as well. First we want to open up a new part file. We will sketch up whatever it is the profile will look like with some additional sketch entities to assist with placement down the road. One thing to note is the origin of the sketch will be your default pierce point. Additional vertex or sketch points can be added to use as alternatives. You cannot just select a random location about the sketch. So be sure to add additional points to any locations you anticipate you may need. Once everything is defined, close the sketch, select it in the feature manager, and click on File, Save As. You'll want to save the profile as a library feature part in the same folder we referenced earlier. You can begin to create additional folder structures to organize however you wish, but sticking to the standard and type subfolders to ensure SOLIDWORKS knows where to look. Give a descriptive name that makes sense to the organization. If you name your file 2.5 by 3.5, that's what it's going to show under the size in the Weldman's pane. For any additional questions, please feel free to visit our website or call us and one of our technical team members will be able to assist you.